friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm really excited to share another Project Life video for you using my wild hair kit for August 2018. Um, I love my kit so much. I know I've talked about it a lot, but I really do love it. If you don't know what wild hair kits is, I'll quickly explain it. Basically, you fill out a style profile on the website and um, they hand curate you a kit for um, your style and the projects you're working on and whatever you're looking for. So everyone's kits are going to be different and um, it's just, it's really cool because you don't know what you're going to get, but you have an idea. So when I requested my kit, I requested, um, I thought like some of the crepe paper wild at heart or wild, yeah, wild at heart, I think it's called. And um, here and there, I thought those would be good collections for me right now because I'm, I'm scrapping vacation pictures. And so she gave me some of those products and then she mixed in some other products in the batch, which is, I, I think that's so awesome. Like when I got it, I was like, yes, this is so much more fun than when I order something online and I know exactly what I'm getting. Like it's cool to have someone hand pick you a kit that is suitable for what, for you and what you're working on and not exactly knowing it. I don't know. I just am having so much fun with these kits and I'm, I'm totally getting through them. Like I'm making so many projects with them. You'll see at the end of the month, I'll post like a, um, like kind of like a kill a kit video. I'll post kind of like what, um, what I, the, all the projects I made and what I'm left with that I can't really like make a layout with because I'm definitely going to get through all of this. I just like, I feel like I'm on a roll. These kits are so awesome. I just keep going. So it's a lot of fun. Um, this beautiful vellum sheet was in the kit. So I was just, you saw me there trying to figure out, um, which corner of it I wanted to use because that would be the part that was showing. So I like the one that's a scenic group because this is, um, a spread of a trip my husband and I took to Sedona, Arizona. We went to Sedona. We went to Page. Um, so we spent a night in Phoenix it was really awesome. So this was the start of our trip. You'll be seeing some more videos uh, from this trip, scrapbooking and project life or otherwise. Um, and I'm really excited because I just the other day filled out my style profile for um, my September kit. And I'm so excited. <laughs> Each month is just going to be so exciting filling out the style profile and n having no clue what's coming in the mail. It's so exciting. Um, so I can't wait to see what I get every month. I'll be filming an unboxing video and all my process videos, hopefully. And, um, and then the kill a kit video at the end of the month. I think that's what it's called. I should really look that up. I've just seen people do videos like that before where they, where they show what they have left and what projects they made with it. So then the rest of it will just go in the, my stash, but really there's not going to be much left because, I have like gone through every single little piece, it feels like. Um, anyway, so uh, I didn't get any Project Life cards just because I didn't request it. Um, but I did get cut aparts from the one of the crepe paper collections, which is awesome. I love cut aparts. They're so cute. Um, and so I cut those apart for my Project Life cards. And then I'm also going to use the papers in the kit that she gave me. Um, to cut down as project life cards as well. So it's perfect. It's just the way I like to do it. Cause I hate when you buy those big things of project life cards and then you just have so much left over. It's, it just feels silly. So I'm so happy that I got through all this stuff and I'm just, I'm happy that it's not a bunch of random stuff going into my stash. That I'm never going to see again. Like I have, y'all see at the end of the month, there will not be much left and it's kind of awesome. I love it. I'm so excited about it. Um, so I got the ephemera pack from, um, I think it's from here and there or wild at one of the two, one of the two crepe paper collections, the, the two most recent ones, I got some things from both collections. So I can't remember exactly which is from which, but yeah, so I'm just going to layer up that page and I love how it looks. I'm not usually huge on green except for like florally things, but I love the way that looks. I think it's so fun. Um, looks like 
things were just like placed down and it's all travel-y and I love it. I also got these flares, which I totally use up on all my Project Life pages and they're so fun. They're so cute. At first I was like, I don't know how I'm going to use this, but that's what I love about the kits is that like it's kind of an element of surprise. So you could get some things that um, you wouldn't normally buy and then you realize you love it. So I think that's such a cool part. It's so funny seeing the sticker sheet because now um, like I've done many more projects since uh, this one and I've basically torn through that whole sticker sheet, which I think when you have a small, I know I've heard lots of other crafters say this, when you have a small amount of supplies designated for a project, it's so much easier to get through it than when you're just overwhelmed with your entire um, craft room. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Um, I'm kind of, uh, I bought some hip kits a while, like a couple months ago, if you saw those videos, and I kind of um, went through those two kits for a long time to see how many projects I could make. And, um, it was really good to just like actually use up a lot of products and also, um, and like not have them just sit in my stash, like really, really use them up down to the bone kind of thing. And, um, also just get a lot of projects out of it. And I feel like you can do the projects faster when you have a smaller like curated amount of supplies if that makes sense that's from my personal experience what I've been experimenting in the past couple months so anyway if you want to see or if you have suggestions for what you want to see me make with my wild hair kits let me know um for this first month I since it was very specific that I want to travel stuff for my trip, I do a lot of, um, come on, what are the words? Uh, Project Life pages and um, scrapbook pages because I have those specific pictures. Uh, so if you're here for Happy Mail, don't worry. Those videos will come eventually. Um, it was just that I had the this, um, I had this, curated for me specifically for my trip. So, uh, yeah, so there'll probably be more variety in future months, but for now, this is, these are the videos I'm doing just cause this is a trip that I need to, uh, document and there are a lot of pictures and I really like to keep up to date with my, um, photos. Like I don't like it to be like, I don't like to be like a year behind or something. I like to, to document like up to date current photos. So I try to get those done as soon as I can. Um, now I don't recommend, um, using mist and stuff while you are like doing it on the page protector. But at the time, that's just what I felt like doing and it was fine. It rubbed off as long as you rub it off right away. Um, okay, so you can see I used two of my flares there, and I think they're so cute. I love them. They're, yeah, that came off. I think I have to glue that back on. I was a little rough with it. Um, but I think they were a really cool touch, and I don't think I would have normally bought it on my own just because I would think, oh, will I use it? Will I not? Is it too expensive? Is it worth the money? But when you get a kit, it's really a full kit of exactly what you're looking for. So if you like 12 by 12s, then you'll get 12 by 12s. But if you don't like 12 by 12s and you only like 6 by 6, then that's what you'll get, which is really cool. It's not like there's no like formula. I mean, I'm sure there is, but it's not like you only get these kind of products. It's truly what you want. And... Um, where was I going with that? I don't know. <laughs> I was going somewhere with that, but, um, it's, oh yeah, it's what you want, but also with an element of surprise because you don't know exactly how it's going to be curated. Like if, um, because there's so many like embellishments that go in your kit. I got enamel dots. I got puffy stickers. I got flares. I got, wait, did I say stickers? and an ephemera pack, and then 12 by 12 paper, vellum, and 6 by 6 paper. So I got such an awesome variety, and those glitter thickers, which is so awesome. 
So you really get a whole lot of embellishments that'll last you for so many different projects. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm doing on this vellum paper. Be because it's vellum, um, it's like you can see both sides of it. So I had to make both sides the same. So I just did that um, right away so that, um, yeah, so that it would look good. So I just did a little journaling in the middle and that finishes it off. So thank you so much for watching. I'll leave links for the store down below if you're interested in uh, filling out a style profile. You can fill out the profile for free just to kind of see how it is. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.